If you want to drive more organic traffic to your website and beat your competitors so you can attract new customers, you need to understand where you stand in the search engine landscape and what you need to improve. The only way to do this is by conducting an SEO audit which will reveal where you have problems that need to be fixed, gaps that needs to be filled and will also help you create the perfect roadmap to crush your competitors. An in-depth local SEO audit can cost several hundred dollars, sometimes thousands, if you commission an agency to do it for you. But today, I'm going to show you how to do a quick SEO audit yourself so you can start improving your online presence straight away without spending a dime. I've even put together an SEO audit checklist which includes a ton of free tools and recommendations which you can download in the description below so you can go through each step of the process for your own business from the comfort of your home and at your own pace. At the end of it, you'll know exactly what you need to work on. Hi there, if this is your first time here, welcome to the community. My name is Luc Durand, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk which I created to help local business owners like you thrive online and run successful businesses. If you want to join the thousands of people who are already part of this growing family, it's simple and free. Just click on the subscribe button and the bell notification and you will automatically be alerted when I publish a new video. If you're ready, let's jump in. Google My Business Listing Audit Do you have a Google My Business Listing? I know this sounds obvious for many of you, but there are tons of businesses out there who have yet to claim their Google listing. Like this one, Face Painting Fairies. Google My Business is crucial to your online success and will have a major influence on your overall online visibility. If you haven't claimed your listing yet, do it now. If you don't know how, watch my video, How to Set Up Google My Business for Best Results. If you have a listing and it is verified, it's important to get it right. Here is what you need to look out for. Business name. Use the same business name that you would use in real life and that is printed on any of your legal documentation or business cards. Do not add any additional keywords in the hope you will rank higher. It's against Google's policy and you may get suspended. Address and phone number. Make sure your address and phone number are accurate. Get this wrong and you will be in a world of pain. You will mislead Google and your customers too. Business categories. Ensure you've selected the right primary category for your business as it will influence your rankings enormously. This can sometimes be a tough choice. Dentist, cosmetic dentist and dental clinic are three different categories so make sure you choose wisely. Once you're done with your primary category you can add secondary categories that apply to your business. Business hours. Have you entered your business hours? If not, make sure you do. People look at this stuff. Don't cheat and pretend you're open when you're not to avoid frustration and potential bad reviews. Which leads me to my next point. Reviews. Reviews are a major influence when it comes to rankings. It could make the difference between your competitor's ranking and not you. How many do you have? How positive are they? Have you responded to all of them? You can encourage customers to leave you more reviews with this nice little tool that will generate a link which will automatically trigger a Google My Business review pop-up and ease the review process. For more info on this, just check my video on how to collect reviews. Website. Link your Google My Business listing to your website if you haven't done it yet. FAQs. Have you added frequently asked questions to your profile? FAQs will help people make informed decisions about your business. People also use the FAQ option to ask about services you provide, which can often generate fresh leads, so they are not to be ignored. If you're stuck about what to write in there, here is a tool that might help. Answerthepublic.com Throw a keyword in there and it will spit out a list of common questions you can use. Photos Photos are probably the best way of showcasing your business and capturing attention, so add some photos regularly. You can also add videos and 360 panoramic views for better engagement. Google Posts. Do you publish any posts? You can increase your visibility with Google Posts. Posts can be used to provide an update about your business, promote a product, a service or an event. 
They increase your listing prominence in search results, especially on mobile, and are used automatically to answer FAQs in the FAQ section. Although they expire every seven days, it's a great feature not many businesses are using, so make the most of it. Business description. Have you added a business description? If you haven't, time to start typing. You can add a description to tell customers a bit more about your business in up to 750 characters. Google My Business has more options available, some of them industry specific, but if you can nail these down for now, you will have a solid profile. Time to move on to Citations Audit. If you don't know what a citation is, it is a mention of your business in major directories and social media platforms, which generally includes your business name, your business address, your business phone number, and sometimes a link to your site, like in this example on Yale.com, which is a major directory in the UK. Having your business listed in these is the foundation of any local SEO strategy and is important for two reasons. These directories very often rank at the top of search engine results for local searches, which may include your business and drive traffic to your site. But more importantly, it helps create trust and legitimacy with Google, who will be discovering your business across all these platforms. But for Google to establish trust, your business information needs to be accurate and consistent everywhere your business is mentioned. You could check the consistency and accuracy of your business information across the web manually, but to be honest with you, it is a very tedious exercise and can still lead to errors. Instead, use a tool that will do the legwork for you. In my opinion, Bright Local is one of the best tools to just do that. You can create a free account for 14 days without using a credit card, which is more than enough time to check if your business is mentioned in all the right places and if there are any errors. You can even download a full citation report and will also have access to tons of additional information once you've set up your profile. The next thing we're going to check is if your website is responsive. Checking if your website is responsive is just ensuring that your website works on all types of devices and more specifically on mobile phones. When it comes to local search, most of your visitors will come across your site via a mobile phone, so if your website is not compatible, your business is really going to suffer. To quickly check if your website is adapted to multiple devices, download this free resizer app in Google Chrome. Then, simulate your website view on the various devices available. The next thing we're going to look at is your homepage. Since the homepage of your site is your most important page, it deserves to be analyzed separately as there are many things to take into consideration. To really maximize your SEO opportunities, this is what you should check. Is your title tag optimized and includes the keywords and the city name you are targeting? Have you added a meta description to your page compelling enough so that people will want to click on your listing in Google when they come across your business? Is there a main title, also known as H1, which stands for header, which also includes your main keyword and city name? Is there an obvious call to action on the page, such as a phone number, that is visible without scrolling down? Is the call to action visible on the mobile version of your site without scrolling down? Is there enough content on your page? Think of including your services and products and whatever else you think is relevant. Are you linking to important subpages from your homepage which you'd like visitors to click to and Google to discover? Do all your images have an alt tag? Are you talking about your location where your business operates? Have you embedded a Google map related to your business so visitors can check directions straight to you from your homepage? Does your page include your name, address, and phone number, which is consistent with your Google My Business listing? Once you've completed all of the above, it's time to analyze the rest of your pages. For this, we're going to use a tool which is going to speed up the process enormously. Go to ubersuggest.com and in the search box, add your domain name. I am going to use the example of this dentist located in Tampa, Florida. Click on search. This will initially give you an overview of your website, which includes the number of organic keywords, your ranking for, the estimated organic traffic, and the number of links pointing to your site. On the left-hand side, choose Site Audit at the bottom of the menu and click on Search to trigger an automatic scan of your site, which should take up to three minutes. Once completed, you should see a breakdown of errors, warnings, and recommendations. Click on the first box to bring up the full list. 
In there, you will be able to uncover issues with your pages, such as duplicate meta title, low word count, and missing headers across your site and fix them. If you are unfamiliar with the errors highlighted, just click on the what is this and how do I fix it, which is very helpful. Since this is an automated scan, it doesn't include every recommendation. So once you've fixed the highlighted issues, I recommend you also check the following items for all your pages. Include the main targeted keywords you are trying to rank for with your page and the city name in your main title tag. Include the main targeted keywords you are trying to rank for with your page and the city name in your main header. Make sure the keyword is different from the homepage and unique for each page. Ensure your content is well structured and includes subheadings. Add keywords in your subheadings which are related to the main keyword you are targeting for these pages. Look at this example. One heading includes Fusebox and the other Consumer Unit which are closely related. Finally, don't forget to add all tags to your images. Time to now look at how well your business is ranking in Google. When it comes to local search, your business is likely to show in two distinctive areas within Google. The first one is in Google Maps with your Google My Business listing, which will also include the map pack. The second one is what I call the more traditional results which sit below the map pack, which is where your business website will be listed. It's important to know how well your business ranks and for what keywords, so you can monitor if any of the improvements that you have implemented have made a difference to your ranking. Head back to Ubersuggest and re-enter your domain name if needed. On the main screen, click on the Organic Keywords tab. This will show you all the keywords your website is ranking for in the traditional results. You can even export the results in Excel, save the data and recheck a few weeks later so you can compare rankings and check if you have gained any positions. If you are not ranking for any keywords between position 1 and 10, it means you're not on the first page of Google for any keywords, so there is a lot of work to do. To make things simpler moving forward, I suggest you create a profile in Ubersuggest for your website which will track your progress automatically so you don't have to keep downloading Excel spreadsheets and see in seconds if you're doing well or not. Unfortunately, Ubersuggest doesn't track rankings for Google My Business listings in Google Maps, so it only gives you half of the picture. To do this, head over to a site called localfalcon.com. Local Falcon is a software that allows you to track how well your Google My Business listings ranks directly on Google Maps for a given keyword. I love this tool as it is very visual and you can instantly get a feel of how well or badly your business is doing. Local Falcon is not a free tool. However, you can create an account and run one free scan which will give you a good idea of how powerful this can be for your business. Let me run through an example with another dentist called Downtown Dental, located in Nashville, USA. Once you've created an account, click on Scan on the main menu. Start typing your business name in the business field. It should come up automatically. Please note that if you have decided to hide your business address in your Google My Business listing, you won't be able to run the scan. Add the keyword you want to target. In this instance, we're going to use Dentist. Nashville. Choose the radius you want to target and then the distance, either in miles or in kilometers. Then select the grid size. Click on Run Search. You will see dots showing where your business ranks and in what position based on your criteria. Any position beyond three means your business is not featured in the map pack, which really is where you want to be. Clicking on the dots will give you access to more details and check which businesses rank above you and how far down you are on the list. Local Falcon stores all your scans so you can easily compare them and understand if you are making any progress over time. Time to move on to our last item, external links. External links pointing to your site are one of the most important factors that will influence your online visibility. In summary, the more quality links you have pointing to your website, the more relevant it will appear to Google, who will reward you with higher rankings. But how strong is your link profile? To check this, go back to ubersuggest.com once more and search for your domain. On the main screen, check what your domain score is. This score is calculated on the basis of external links pointing to your site. The lower the score, the weaker the site. 
run the same scan for your competitor's site and look at their domain scores. If your score is lower than theirs, it's because they have more valuable links pointing to their site than you do. This means there is a great chance you will be ranking lower than they are for the keywords you are targeting. The solution? Try getting more websites to link to yours. If you don't know where to start, you can spy on your competitors' links by clicking on their domain score. This will show all the links pointing to their site. Just try to get the same links as they do. That's it for today. Now it's your turn. Download the SEO audit checklist and run through each item one by one. I've made this very simple to use. Just put a cross in the yes or no box and it will change color automatically. Once completed, you will see how well or badly you're doing just by looking at the overall color scheme and which item you need to address based on priority. Hope you liked the video. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. And until next time, happy marketing.